Ladies and gentlemen, this is related to April the 19th, 2022. Two days ago, it's related to a real poisoning. Poisoning like a poison, like a rat poison. I'm not saying it was rat poison that was used, but it was hardcore poison that was used in this case. Uh, not to be mistaken with blood infection, sepsis alike type of poisoning with which they played since 1995 when abductions from United States of America to Slovenia began to take place. On every poisoning where poison, a real poison was involved, prior to actual events, therefore during MK Ultra itself, during MK Ultra, this is a regular torture. You drugged up, they pull teeth fillings, teeth fills, plumb insulin, plumbium out of your teeth and infect your teeth. They create infection, cut with whatever, and it starts. You're consuming food, having different app. Uh, effect on the uh, on your body and so it goes the story uh, brainwash you on anywhere from brain cancer lymph node cancer diabetes hypertension you name it then in real time and I don't doubt the real poison was also used during MK Ultra because it was severe sleep deprivation methods they would use that's totally inhumane when you treat a person like this, you don't have any kind of respect for one's life. You don't give a shit. You are using one to be wasted. You are wasting one, basically, for your purposes. For every real poisoning that took place next to this blood infection, and I'm about to talk to you in this video as well, it was what you're about to see now that followed. Poisoning was coordinated with London, with a Washington DC, with a Buckingham Palace, with a Berlin, uh, and I'm talking about here Vladimir Putin, I'm talking about here Mr. Milan Kuch and Borat Pahor, presently President of Republic of Slovenia, country of which native I am. For every real poisoning, the poisoning that would shatter me, bring me really close maybe to even death experience, they brainwash under MK Ultra with what you see here, issues which will be used for you to acknowledge that you eventually were poisoned. They used certain people involved in MK Ultra to remind along the scenarios to remind of whatever was promised to me would be kept. Let's put it this way. What you see here right now is what I eventually video recorded the day after I woke up myself in the morning two days ago on April the 19th with severe pain in my chest in my heart area. Uh, this was so far the worst one yet. It's right there, 7.07 .07 in the morning. I'm with a chest pain, severe chest pain. I'm going first thing through browsing, basically just through the Yahoo News. In total disbelief of what just actually I have gone through at night because I returned from Goryansi trip the second day on the row poisoned as hell uh, in other words on both occasions I became completely health related issues free without suffering absolutely any health related issues without even s sound 
like this, just like you have heard me right now, that otherwise accompanies me night and day, 24-7, for already five years. On two occasions when returning from Goryansi, that's about elevation of 1,200 meters, hill from here, maybe, I don't know, 20 kilometers in both directions, that's what a trip equals to. I was poisoned, physically poisoned, with a real, with like poison, poison like a poison. Did not have to do it, what I will explain to you was related to the teeth poisoning. Blood infection they played with, as I mentioned earlier. On both occasions, I returned back completely health related issues free with absolutely no cardiovascular issues, heart related issues at all, free of blood pressure sound. And the first thing I would have done it is I had it to sleep with the first day prior to, therefore on April the 18th, experiencing a really strange situation when I came home and the only thing I would do is I would drink a little bit of milk, whatever was left to me in a, in a carton of milk, in a carton of milk. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to consume, I did took some eggs, I ate eggs and something because I didn't want to go just uh, with completely empty stomach from a, such a long trip in the bed and then the plan was to drink uh, coffee with just a little just a little milk inside and that milk was left in this carton uh, the thing is that after I consumed that I thought that not only the sound returned back but my head was about to explode the funny thing about it is that it wasn't the coffee that made me sick. It was the milk that poisoned me. There was a real poisoned poison located inside of the milk. The head pain, not only sound that exploded, was so unbearable that I thought that I am not gonna fucking make it even for a walk because I planned on going for a walk before the sleep. The idea was for me to use that little coffee and milk just to get me going for another two hours and then go sleep. Just like this, to burn those calories I just consumed. Because I am trying to lose some weight. It turned into a nightmare. Before I left, without even I would say anything to my mother, my mother started to act ridiculously. She treats me like a shit, not like a human being, on a regular basis. Scorns me, humiliates me, have no respect whatsoever. On occasion, however, she started to act really funny, like acting like she's afraid, like she's scared. And even mentioned me that she has a really, really bad news she's going to tell me about. And when I ask her to tell me about it now, therefore then, she said that I have to wait until tomorrow. Knowing how, how much just poisoned I was at the time. Knowing that tomorrow might not even come for me. It was a bizarre, crazy, insane situation. I have actually video recorded. Uh, excuse me, audio recorded. I just went for a walk. I didn't know if I'm going to make it until tomorrow. After two hours, however, drinking, consuming two liters of water, I returned back and went to sleep. I made it. I also knew I made a mistake. We'll never drink milk again in this house. My coffee I consumed always was coffee with the milk. 
never drink coffee in my life without milk. But learning from that day what just happened, I decided I'm not going to drink milk inside of this household ever again. The next day as I returned, the situation repeated with a banana that was left on a table. So I spent 24 hours within two days consuming about 8 liters of water to clean my mechanism, my body, from the poison. I am talking about blood infection, sepsis type of issue. And uh, the second day, also because I took some wild garlic along the way, I felt extraordinarily well. Whatever happened the day earlier was soon gone. Within hours of after I left house, I felt fantastic. There was no sound, there was nothing no pain whatsoever, anything, again, completely normal. 24 hours within two days wasted, I returned back, and there was this banana left on a table. I reached out for The banana was not good banana. The banana was, also had the rotten parts on one. But I was extremely skeptical about the brainwash that Americans, Britons, psychiatrists here from Novo Mest and everybody insisted me on how I'm not supposed to eat parts that are uh, even slightly that don't look like completely 100% like fresh. That is a cancer patient, cancer patient. But you know, I felt so good that I wanted to learn what is going on with these bananas. Is it really true what they are telling me? And I went ahead and I consumed one. That's when it turned really, really bad night. It was the only, the only banana left. I went to sleep in the middle of the night. As a matter of fact, it wasn't the middle of the night. As soon as I went to sleep, as soon as I laid down, it wasn't only sound that came back blood pressure related sound but boy it was cardiovascular pain in chest regardless I continued to sleep and got somehow seven and a half hours of sleep I slept on my right side to release the pressure on heart as much as possible. Then, before I got up completely in the morning, you can see the time right there. I went and I did wanted to see basically if there was something they're gonna leave me this time. Because for every poisoning that took place. That's why I know that those are uh, physical poisonings. Those are real poisonings. Those are really the stuff they promised me they're going to be doing. They would leave me crazy, bad crazy shit to remind me of what I should do or what I should not, how to think, what not. On this occasion, therefore, this was the second time that was on April the 19th, the first time I was too damn tired to even, and angry, determined that I will improve myself the day earlier that happened that. I'm never going to drink milk again, I said to myself. I didn't even bother to go through Yahoo. But the second time, the second day when they did this to me, I did go and it was creepy. And then I started to eventually video record this stuff because it was too many memories that kicked in from this so-called MK Ultra. This is a regular torture. Let's 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 call it as it is. 
without allowing one to sleep and hard one, past one, mrtsvarjene, uh, like we say in Slovenian language. This is this is this is this is torture. This is physically torture. Individual. I have found that Yahoo quickly, and they will always do that, upon initial display on a Yahoo News site, they would rapidly change that. And so I did go even through the history here to bring all the news I have gone through that morning and video record this thing. And so here is what it is. Here is what it came up knowing that tomorrow might not even come for me. It was a bizarre, crazy, insane situation I have actually video recorded. Uh, excuse me, audio recorded. I just went for a walk. I didn't know if I'm going to make it until tomorrow. After two hours, however, drinking, consuming two liters of water, I returned back and went to sleep. I made it. I also knew I made a mistake. We'll never drink milk again in this house. My coffee I consumed always was coffee with the milk. Never drink coffee in my life without milk. But learning from that day what just happened, I decided I'm not going to drink milk inside of this household ever again. The next day, as I returned, the situation repeated with a banana that was left on a table. So I spent 24 hours within two days consuming about 8 liters of water to clean my mechanism, my body, from the poison. I am talking about blood infection, sepsis type of issue. And uh, the second day, also because I took some wild garlic along the way, I felt extraordinarily well. Whatever happened the day earlier was soon gone. Within hours of after I left house, I felt fantastic. There was no sound, there was nothing no pain whatsoever, anything, again completely normal. 24 hours within two days wasted, I returned back and there was this banana left on a table. I reached out for the banana was not good banana. The banana was also had the rotten parts on one. But I was extremely skeptical about the brainwash that Americans, Britons, psychiatrists here from Novo Mest and everybody insisted me on how I'm not supposed to eat parts that are uh, even slightly that don't look like completely 100% like fresh. That is a cancer patient, cancer patient. But you know, I felt so good that I wanted to learn what is going on with these bananas. Is it really true what they are telling me? And I went ahead and I consumed one. That's when it turned really, really bad night. It was the only, the only banana left. I went to sleep in the middle of the night. As a matter of fact, it wasn't the middle of the night. As soon as I went to sleep, as soon as I laid down, it wasn't only sound that came back blood pressure related sound but boy it was cardiovascular pain in chest regardless I continued to sleep and got somehow seven and a half hours of sleep I slept on my right side to release the pressure on heart as much as possible. Then 
before I got up completely in the morning. You can see the time right there. I went and I did wanted to see basically if there was something they're gonna leave me this time because for every poisoning that took place that's why I know that those are uh, physical poisonings those are real poisonings those are really the stuff they promised me they're gonna be doing they would leave me crazy bad crazy shit to remind me of what I should do or what I should not how to think what not on this occasion therefore this was the second time that was on April the 19th the first time I was too damn tired to even and angry determined that I will improve myself the day earlier that happened that I'm never gonna drink milk again I said to myself I didn't even bother to go through Yahoo but the second time the second day when they did this to me I did go and it was creepy and then I started to eventually video record this stuff because it was too many memories that kicked in from this so-called MK Ultra this is a regular torture let's 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 call it as it is without allowing one to sleep and hard one past one uh like we say in Slovenian language this is this is this is this is torture this is physically torture individual I have found that Yahoo quickly and they will always do that upon initial display on a Yahoo news site they would rapidly change that and so I did go even through the history here to bring all the news I have gone through that morning and video record this thing and so here is what it is here is what it came up knowing that tomorrow might not even come for me it was a bizarre crazy insane situation I have actually video recorded uh, excuse me audio recorded I just went for a walk I didn't know if I'm gonna make it until tomorrow after two hours however drinking consuming two liters of water I returned back and went sleep I made it I also knew I made a mistake we'll never drink milk again in this house my coffee I consumed always was coffee with the milk never drink coffee in my life without milk but learning from that day what just happened I decided I'm not gonna drink milk inside of this household ever again the next day as I returned the situation repeated with a banana that was left on a table so I spent 24 hours within two days consuming about eight liters of water to clean my mechanism my body from the poison I am talking about blood infection sepsis type of issue and uh, the second day also because I took some wild garlic along the way I felt extraordinary well whatever happened the day earlier was soon gone within hours of after I left house I felt fantastic there was no sound there was nothing no pain whatsoever anything again completely normal 24 hours within two days wasted I returned back and there was this banana left on a table I reached out for the banana was not good banana the banana was also had the rotten parts on one but I was extremely skeptical about the brainwash that Americans, Britons, 
psychiatrist here from Novo Mest and everybody insisted me on how I'm not supposed to eat parts that are uh, even slightly that don't look like completely 100% like fresh that is a cancer patient cancer patient but you know I felt so good that I wanted to learn what is going on with these bananas is it really true what they are telling me and I went ahead and I consumed one that's when it turned really really bad night it was the only the only banana left I went sleep in the middle of the night as a matter of fact it wasn't the middle of the night as soon as I went to sleep as soon as I laid down it wasn't only sound that came back blood pressure related sound but boy it was cardiovascular pain in chest regardless I continued to sleep and got somehow seven and a half hours of sleep I slept on my right side to release the pressure on heart as much as possible then before I got up completely in the morning you can see the time right there I went and I did wanted to see basically if there was something they're gonna leave me this time because for every poisoning that took place that's why I know that those are uh, physical poisonings those are real poisonings those are really the stuff they promised me they're gonna be doing they would leave me crazy bad crazy shit to remind me of what I should do or what I should not how to think what not on this occasion therefore this was the second time that was on April the 19th the first time I was too damn tired to even and angry determined that I will improve myself the day earlier that happened that I'm never gonna drink milk again I said to myself I didn't even bother to go through Yahoo but the second time the second day when they did this to me I did go and it was creepy and then I started to eventually video record this stuff because it was too many memories that kicked in from this so-called MK Ultra. This is a regular torture. Let's 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 call it as it is, without allowing one to sleep and hard one, past one, mrtvarjene, uh, like we say in Slovenian language. This is this is this is this is torture. This is physically torture. Individual. I found that Yahoo quickly, and they will always do that, upon initial display on a Yahoo News site, they would rapidly change that. And so I, why is it they were doing this kind of stuff? They were doing this kind of stuff to take pressure off the people surrounding me. They wanted to extend the royal title I was awarded with, and I'm talking about the Buckingham Palace as a primus, primary in this case against me. They wanted me to look as crazy as possible. What do you do with a guy that you that you you wouldn't do this like this to the person with a person you that you care for? You 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 do want you want people that do bad stuff to the person to point in other side of the world where. There is nobody actually that can get to an individual that is taking responsibility upon himself or herself. And so Washington DC, London, all these people are far away from here. And the more people you point at what happens, the more you are the one to be blamed for there was no way to help you out, right? So that's just a real character of the people from the Buckingham Palace. 
the consideration to grab people like Borat Paho or Milan Kuchan, Slovenian police, under whose protectorship this thing is going since 1995, doesn't even come to question. So for them, this is actually really convenient. Statements like I'm making right now completely go along with a title, with a royal title known as paranoid schizophrenia. I am just shocked that it's a Great Britain, that it's the British way to murder people with the use of psychiatry. This is such a that they, they take such a pride, such an honor, such a, such a, z with murder individual with a, such a zest, with a, such an eagerness. Because this is a, you know what this is? This is a kill, this is a murder in public display, a derision for the law, derision for the constitution, derision for everything, for all the laws, for, for the human life, for everything, for exactly everything they have stated I had derision for. That's basically exactly what this is. With the use of real poison, with the use of real tactics, with the real, through the real torture, without anyone interfering in it, absolutely, with the full support of the psychiatric institutions. That's what this is. Uh, this morning, April the 19th, 2022, Yahoo treats me with Yahoo website, frequent visitor, I'm a frequent visitor of the Yahoo broker through my case, involved deeply in my case. Yahoo treats me with the following news, and it was not only Yahoo, it was also Mother once I got up. First, the individual that was involved in MK Ultra and was interested, at least that's what she claimed, in marrying me. Here is what I have published to understand the news about a dollar store, about the girl that was involved in MK Ultra. Let me explain something. The girl was non-violent. That girl they have blended one with a group of other people that were involved therefore blended one in a total violent stuff i believe so that she would quit on me or something like this she's american she's not british also i'm not saying that the american system is any better than british but british i think that's i think it's that that's the worst one i think it's really controlled more than what Soviet Union was. But what happened in real in respect to what exactly happened in respect to dollar and this and that? What what is the deal? Here is the news I have published on Monday, April the eighteenth of two thousand and twenty two. It was a lot related to financial issues. It was related literally to the deal. Since beginning, since 2000, I was told, I have reminded them of, for every deal, that it's, I'm not going to say I was promised, because I'm disgusted with these people. These people are not people for me. But that's what they claim. They claim that for every sale, for any transaction, that will go through inside of this very room here. All the major transactions have gone inside of this room to protect their transaction from commission, which they claim they would pay. Buckingham Palace awarded me with a title known as a paranoid schizophrenic. That's how the British do it. So it did have to do with the dollars. Yes, I know. It did have to do with the dollars. This is all the stuff that was published on April the 18th, therefore a day earlier. And I think they, they didn't take that easily, reminding them of, of bloodbaths 
and British royals, Americans, literally inside of this home, inside of this house. It did not go well. It wasn't only Putin who did this stuff. Connecting all these issues together, it seems, as I stated, it was a difficult, it was way too difficult to deal with the truth, with own truth. She mentions them dollar store, financial issues. Then you see here, you see Ronaldo, that is a preferred option of Queen Elizabeth. She was just really, really in love with Ronaldo. Ronaldo was always her hero. This was the man. Uh, he lost his son. Here's my comment about Cristiano Ronaldo uh, concerning his newborn son. A news which is posted on a Yahoo as we always, we will always uh, love you. Cristiano Ronaldo deeply involved in this MK Ultra case. Sir, just so you know, I'm going to make some kind of complaint that I am causing some kind of damage or something like this to you and or to your wife. And I'll give you a little comment in continuation. It's nothing really personal, except that from your end, you were really, really well compensated from the Queen Elizabeth to do your part in this royal title I have received and which I decline to see myself in anything else other than as paranoid schizophrenic when concerning this people who would not accept any kind of apology, would not accept any kind of compensation from these people. It's a curiosity about the British court, about the British justice system, about the British police that is pushing me, that is powering me forward. That's what I want to know about whether these institutions exist in actuality. That's what powers me in respect to this. These people are worth shit. They are not worth it a fucking second of my time to waste on. It's a trash. It's a human garbage. It doesn't get any shittier than this as when it comes to the human beings. But here's what I have to say about the death of the newborn son, which Buckingham Palace have interpreted to me to see as. Queen gave me a royal title and permanent residence at Buckingham Palace. Indeed, yes, yes, indeed. This was published on April the 15th on my schizophrenic paranoid blog where you can also see the views equal to 16 12 views a day, not a day but until up to date within five days it was 12 people who have seen this blog thanks god for that yes indeed she did entitled me to a title as much as news here that you see from cristiano ronaldo's death of his newborn son was published on April the 19th of 2022. You see that? You see it. It was the April. In the end, I'm going to take a time and date. April the 19th of 2022 is when this news came out. I have published mine already. Here, you can see clearly on April the 15th of 2022. Yes, she did. She did give me a room. There is a smaller separate room from everyone else, which is located right next to Andrew's room inside the Buckingham Palace. That room, however, is smaller and it was only used along all other rooms including Andrew for whenever like overnight stay or if we would stay there at the Buckingham Palace 
and it would be for Andrew or Charles uh, due to timing or something location other location that will be with it, uh, without that wouldn't be within the reach and during the timing or something the people but they would come too tired this year they had something to do or whatever they had to stay for the next day some appointment meeting or something or whatever they would do a sleepover at the Buckingham Palace and that's exactly what that room was dedicated to me but it was permanently assigned to me by the Queen Elizabeth who by the way was brutally I'm gonna say the time when she did this she was like brutally like doubtful like it was like uh, like why not you know like like why not yeah you know, like a fucking nonsense why not give him you know why not he deserves it you know yeah you know they were not happy they were not excited about but prince charles and prince andrew did refer to me as a brother now while this is really beautiful attempt to cut in front of me before i would announce actual royal title which i have not therefore a royal title that queen elizabeth have awarded me with you see this year it was all published on april the 15th an opportunity i have also rejected one I did fail to state exactly what kind of title. And if I wouldn't go about this video today, I wouldn't even realize that right here it says newborn son. And I'm doing this video after already I have published news today. newborn son All right that's only two that's charles and andrew those are two sons she had we will all <laughs> a newborn a newborn that's the one that never existed that's really well it's more honest when you hear this in real time uh it's more real than when they tell you this and when you are drugged up you don't actually the way they explain me this stuff they, they were not straight enough for me to understand what they are saying it was just about the same thing like the robert de niro's issue with mother hubbard i discuss in continuation never mind but this here look since i did not point out on the 15th of April about exactly what kind of title they have titled me with today a little bit earlier I did because yesterday evening I had gone for a walk look there is time here and I did took a photo of what you see here and this is the house which Prince Andrew uh, excuse me Prince Charles took on occasion whenever he wanted to stay by himself in the city of the novelness therefore wherever whenever he would take time to stay away from everyone he would move to this house from our residence from other locations wherever he was he would go to this house right here and on this opportunity therefore today i have also explained the issue behind this newborn son as they sadistically refer to us you see the newborn son is discussed right here they they both of them refer to me as a brother
keep in mind, I was the one who rejected hands extended to me which were full of money. On two occasions, three occasions I did so. In the face. Because these people were actually concerned about they wanted to see how greedy I was. How much I was craving for the money under MK Ultra, the money they promised, the money they talked about. And I rejected one in their face. Queen Elizabeth should, in fact, acknowledge that. She is a vulgar, very, very inappropriate person, a scammer, in fact. And not even a young one. And that's scary. That's why I said earlier, I am pleased with the royal title. What you see here, these stairs, this entrance to this building, it's what's taking place right now in the city of the Novo Mesto. They are trying to make one appealing. For what I was told, it's going to be something exclusive for me. But I don't see myself in these people in absolutely any way. And they are the one who finance this. I don't know. Through the European Union money, I think is what I was told back then. It's a waste, if you ask me. Prince William and Harry had me somewhere in Britain and later on as well in Spain. There were two locations, but the first one was in Britain. In Britain, this location, copy and paste, therefore, this stair, stairs, this entrance. It's like right in front of this. It's not a palace. It's just a, it's just a house. Was located from what I can recall somewhere here in like, in this area here it would be like a Milton Keynes or something like some 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 smaller city something like that. That they were thinking what to do, how to do this and that, and so that would that would be another proof I should use under MK Ultra. Um, that would unite us over there and this and that and tra 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 tra. Also in Spain they did something like this one time and demonstrated me not one time, more than one time. But they had me all over the Spain. They love Spain. They go oftentimes to Spain. Spain is one of their favorite locations along Morocco. Ladies and such a stuff, that kind of stuff. That's that's what I'm talking about. So I thought it would be the right thing for me to clarify this issue behind Cristiano Ronaldo is death of the newborn son. I want to be really cautious about this stuff too. I said that Cristiano Ronaldo was a favorite of the Queen Elizabeth. I want to be really, really politically correct about this stuff. What I stated, I have not lied to you about. However, who is favorite of whom when it comes to these people always should be questionable. Was Cristiano Ronaldo the one who claimed me that he would do something like this in the future for the Queen and dra dra and not to be afraid to state something like this? I do not know. I cannot answer. There was a play with the silicon masks. There's all kinds of stuff that goes on these days. When you involve somebody like this and something like that, you actually you don't know what's happening. So, from the mouth of Cristiano Ronaldo, we're probably never going to find out uh, the answer to this issue. And I'm just going to leave it this way. Definitely, this was not meant to insult Cristiano Ronaldo or his wife god forbid i would want to do stuff like this god forbid i would rather cut my own tongue than to do something like this 
but this is how they have interpreted me. Their views on how I should see myself in a news scene here. That's all I have to say in respect to this. Ikai kurba prokleta e kurbetina e. From Ronaldo and his partner, I am going to take you to Cleveland Browns. And a player unknown to me by the name Denzel Ward, with whom the two bind the contract, record breaking contract, I don't know, whatever, 100 million for five years, whatever. The point, if I cite Prince Harry, who first mentioned this individual, browsed. the sports section and have come across a picture of this guy who somehow reminded him of his grandma. I look from the far and somehow reminded my grandma and I looked closer and pay attention to it. That's how this guy got involved in this case. Soon it was other people who have seen himself in him, such as Barack Obama, and have insisted me, under MK Ultra, to see in this individual a death, that he also looks like a death. And it was Queen Elizabeth who wanted me to acknowledge this picture of his as a death, and referred to one as a death, as when you see this, you know what you will, he, she wanted, she expected me to see death in this picture, literally. Then we go to the next one, that's a picture of any news about Vladimir Putin losing his mind through psychosis, in fact, voices in his head that play played a major role. This news was first published that triggered my attention and disappeared once I reloaded the page at the front Yahoo page. But it disappeared once I reloaded page, couldn't find one, and so I visited Express UK to see the news about Vladimir Putin. Look, something that turns my stomach around when I think about that I eventually became a citizen of the United States of America in year 2000. Something that turns my stomach around when I think about what I have gone through. The cost, the price I paid. the level United States of America granted me for my being loyal to this new homeland since my arrival to one in 1995 which did dignify me into the level of less than slave. I think they lowered my level my worth, what I was worthy as a human being, I think that I, I was leveled to below than a slave. A level. I think that what the United States of America exercised against me is a mech daddy of crime. There was a sleep experiment Russians have performed at one point that is acknowledged as the worst crime ever. I think that kind of crime is actually a joke when compared to something United States of America have done to me. In this case, 
I'm going to say to you like this. Vladimir Putin didn't walk inside of this room only with a personal note where he had written what he wants on his tanks, on his planes, from his planes, from his tanks, from his weaponry, Patriot missile-like defense from Moscow. He also have written requests about what he wants American psychiatrists, psychologists, British, to do with me. In other words, how he wants to be seen in my eyes through betrayal from the side of United States of America and Great Britain and Germany and France and Italy and everybody else with whom he signed this what other people some people refer to as a new world order agreement in short imperialistic agreement agreement from the times of Romanovs basically nothing really so new how he wanted to be seen through betrayal he was buying this Americans and Britons and this German garbage and French garbage like a bananas like apples in the market and so it went through the week after week long sleep deprivations my being drugged up subjected to the most severe torture sit it in front of the computer and brainwashed with a shit like this to see the world like that deprived rated as below the animal as a paranoid schizophrenic as an insane without having the right to visit a physician without having the right to request basic human rights of the United Nations or Amnesty International or European Court for Human Rights. 28 years of beatings and torture. So that I could border heart attacks And uh, during those have him depicted as demented. Just as I was told for Kim Jong-un, imagine this. That the only thing they're going to be able to do for me, since he was involved in torture, would be to ridicule him riding the horse and, uh, I don't know, something firing, uh, depicting him like stupid and something like this which is like really, really consoling for someone that you ruined 28 years of life and you literally want to, you bring him to, on a brink of death basically, to breaking him spine involving cancer issues and such. That was what I got from this new homeland where I requested the citizenship in 2000, this godly United States of America. Walked inside of the room and they served a Russian like a waiters from the front and from behind, whichever way he wanted. He purchased them like a bananas, like a apples. There's something about the United States of America. You get anything you want for the money. Americans will murder. They will backstep their own Americans for the sake of cash. They did. Exceeding by far the so-called 
a Russian sleep experiment, ruining me 28 years of life, literally through the torture and through the forced psychiatry, never mind forced unemployment. I'm at this point just fast forwarding uh, at eight times speed. Kamala Harris, her world game, together with Buckingham Palace, with a German politician, Ursula von der Leyen, insisted me visit. What you have seen was on a Yahoo, but visit what will be popular then. They told me, you go to Express UK, and eventually you're going to get the answer about what the outcome of your case is going to be. It's going to be this world game, and it's going to be <laughs> I don't have that much time. Uh, this is, of course, just pro uh, used to prove the authenticity of that video recording. I have done it on April the 19th, 2022, severely, I'm not going to say wounded, but really in pain, in severe cardio-related, heart-related issue, pain before I even got up. I didn't even know if it's worth it for me to get up. Million, yeah, the discounted ticket, that stuff was also in MK Ultra, but I don't have a time to go through that stuff. I think I made my case very, very clear about why that kind of message and how that kind of message, but there's, there's a whole a lot more I have to tell you about this thing. Ronaldo was involved in my case since 1995. His Fiance, his, uh, excuse me, partner, was involved in the case since at least 98, 99. And they insisted me, they pushed me idea about my must marry uh, Latina, South American Latino, for my case to get through. And that she was the one that this and that. Sometimes in 2002, because things did not work out, the two, Ronaldo and she, obviously the people involved in this case, communicated with one another. They interacted. This was a upscale case. It involved the upper portion of society as well as some other people too. The two met in Brazil for the first time. Uh, I was reading Ronaldo in Brazil and uh, the two bumped in her. The first time, according to my knowledge, but what the truth is, they know better than I do. And since I no longer had to worry about uh, my marriage to her or something like this, I never was interested in. And so, to save me, um, my honor, due to discrimination, of course, it was he who took her hand. That's all there was. When I mentioned uh, such an issue, when I mentioned such an issue, if for anyone out there trying to be really stupid about it, go ahead and make my day. This girl alone tortured at least twice. I said she didn't, she did. When it all started, when she needed a position, a supervisory position or whatever it was. Uh, and then since she was nice, but she did. So think about how that would look like on your resume. I wouldn't recommend Discriminated, yes, I. I was discriminated. The audio recording you're about to hear now pertains to a recording which I have obtained upon return from Gorianci, Svetagera, Tardinovrh, elevation about 1200 meters. I invested the day about 12 hours of walk also did the day earlier several hours of work maybe five six hours of work uh, consumed tremendous amounts of water that day in particular four liters of water to cleanse my system get myself what they refer to as under NK Ultra as uh, dialysis that's exactly what I did. I consumed, I drank four liters of water for the liver, for the kidney, and came back home that evening in particular good shape. Just so that I would consume an egg, a single egg, uh, a little bit of the chicken meat, 
uh, which I had prepared earlier before I left for the walk and a little bit of just a cup of coffee uh, which had perhaps half of the table or half of the teaspoon of instant coffee uh, and 50-50 mix of milk with the water. I always mix milk with the water. I don't drink the whole milk. However, the milk was a leftover. It was from the carton of milk. It was just a little bit that was left inside of that. And they told me to never do this, and I did. I went ahead and again sipped that and prepared myself with just a cup of this coffee with almost no coffee inside. Drink that, and I was about to go for a walk because I didn't want to take not even those calories in the bed. I take it very seriously, the health issues. And that's why it hurts psychologically even more. Because when you do all that work to improve your health, to try to live the normal way, the only thing that happens is you get punished for it so severely uh, that it makes you feel sick. And it did, on an instant, as I drink that cup of coffee. And it's not coffee, because afterwards I drink coffee alone. That didn't make me any kind of damage. It was exactly inside of that milk. And it happened to me on God knows how many occasions before. However, during MK Ultra, they pointed at coffee. It's always going to be in coffee, the poison. On instant, when drinking that, I thought that my head is going to blow up. The sound already calmed, went away when I returned back home from this hiking. And when I consumed that coffee, it's not only that sound found its way back. But my head, my God, it was going to fucking blow me my head apart. I felt from the pain. I never have headaches, really. I never have any kind of headaches. But that day, I thought that my head, on instant, after drinking that stuff, it's going to blow apart. And guess what? My mommy comes by. My mommy comes by and uh, she acts afraid, like she's scared. And then give me a very, very, very strange attitude, like that she has a bad news, but it's not going to tell me what it is. Uh, eventually that she will tell me, but the next day, and so on and so forth. Fuckety, fuckety, basically. I knew on instant that I'm poisoned as hell. The next day, based on the headache I had, would never come for me. She didn't know I was going to go for a walk, and that's why I drink that cup of coffee. Precisely half of the teaspoon of the instant coffee was in there. That's all there was. And it's not the coffee that makes me sick because since I drink coffee and coffee didn't have any kind of impact on me. I did go for a walk that evening, two hours, and somehow uh, I didn't have to wait to be told the bad news the next day uh, as she told me she's going to give me she says bad news but it's not going to tell me the same evening it's going to be something I'm going to be told the next day for that too she told me it's going to be a poison the next day for you never ever will come you're not going to eat, probably even wake up what the fuck was used inside of that milk well that's with the mommy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to a typical, non-typical motherly, that exactly evening, exchange of words I had with her. Because for everything stated, I have proofs. For this too, I have proofs. I have 
audio recorded. That's strange, weird stuff. A typical behavior from my mother. She gives an attitude. Just like the ladies did at South Florida Treatment Evaluation Center where I used to work at one time in my life. I used to be employee uh, as a it's like a, a treatment facility, a regular prison, not so regular because it's a criminals that go in there for a purpose of trials. If they're not capable to stand the trial due to psychological issues, whatever, what they do is they treat them first, prepare them for a trial, and once they're evaluated, to stand to be capable to send the trial they go on a trial or they might be just staying in there due to form of punishment or whatever the case might be that's the fights that I have seen the rough attitude the women have given to one another inside of that facility that's a typical mommy of mine what you're about to hear that's not my mommy at all so let's go so when I heard that stuff, I knew immediately I'm fucked. And she didn't hide this, the case is going to be. Asking me about something about help, inquiring about something with the phone. And the way she's saying, she's saying um, she's not really, it doesn't, it doesn't sound to me like he's asking for her help. It doesn't sound to me that she is complaining about something. All through what you hear right now, it's kind of like she is complaining about something. But at the same time that she's like hiding something. What you hear here right now is really, really disgusting. I'm going to play you again. This is a very, very disgusting attitude. This is an attitude, what you hear here. Somebody hiding something. Somebody knowing is doing something really, really evil at this point in time. It's a form of bullying tool. And is just the voice, the way she projects one. And is asking about something on the phone that she needs assistance with because it's hiding something. This is not my mother almost talking right now. Okay. The unknown sender. It's a message on the phone. And, believe it or not, my mother is not as crazy on the phones as one day she might present herself as. She was instructed how to use the phone during MK Ultra smartphone by my niece. She refused repeatedly a class I offered her, and for the computer, and for the smartphone, I was going to try to teach her absolutely everything I know about smartphone, computer, and everything. Offered her on hundred occasions to teach her free, so she can use the phone, this, da, 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 da. But from the MK Ultra, when the, my niece was here, she played with the phone. She knew how to use the phone. She's all the person. But she just knows how to use the phone. The unknown sender, the message from the unknown sender related to the MK Ultra, that's you. You're fucking dead. That's going to be in the fridge, and if you drink that stuff, you're dead. I said the aunt called you an hour ago. She says, you know this, I say, I ask her. She says, no, because I was not at home. And I say, yeah, I said, it's important that you get to know to 
learn how to use the phone. I offered you many times to demonstrate you how to use one, but you simply refused. I don't see anything about what she stated at that point. That is from the unknown sender. I don't see any kind of message like this. I see it from my aunt. So this is something else that goes on. Um, next to what I have stated her that it's for the people that are unwilling to learn how to use the phone it can be difficult I forgot what I was going to say she says thank you no thank you no uh, you I never hear mother talking like this I never heard talking mother like this I, I never heard mother talking like this this is almost displaying like attitude like um, like she's scared like she did something and uh, is just um, the way she said here right now you would say some, to somebody I apologize I am sorry like this this is so disgusting I don't even see what she came to me about asking about the unknown sender anything at that point I haven't seen any of that on the phone that is difficult to explain this is a totally criminal behavior she knows at that point what I consumed very good she knows ah what I was gonna say there is something else there is something else Buckingham Palace teached a psychiatrist Peter Kapsch who later implemented this and they have not implemented this only in Slovenia but also in Poland that for every issue it was not only important to destroy absolutely everything to me but for anything for anything that I would be right about anything that I would be right about that would come out for me to be right it was for the people involved to doubt about it to doubt me never recognize anything uh, and to further the crime against me uh, but not only doubting me but uh, rebuffing me uh, basically for anything that I would ask uh, or remind that was involved in MKUltra or something I would be simply yelled at and if I would try to rationalize or anything it would go into non-communicative angry uh, at times even screaming at me uh, issues never allowed uh, to have the last word about something if I managed to prove something or something like this this was something they referred to in a bucket and palace as a form of psychology that is just necessary to just uh, that type of psychology uh, to be used to depress individual completely squash individual psychologically not only to push one through this kind of issues into uh, being totally this is this is difficult stuff that I stated to you it's difficult because it's it expands crime into a broader area than a job search alone and I have spoken to you about that stuff but when you go have somebody going after you with absolutely anything doubt you on every step of the way 
uh, you prepare yourself a food and you have mother going and doing, you know, all kinds of stuff like this, uh, like stuff that she interpreted you during MK Ultra is going to mean all kinds of stuff, leaving you all kinds of signals behind, act stupid around you. It could be very, very, very challenging. I am going to go ahead and I am going to play you this one more time as soon as I translate this whole thing for you to hear this in Slovenian language because for the Slovenian people this is almost treat. Um, because, because I returned from work because I had a beautiful day, because I feel good. Uh, at this point in time, not anymore. It already kicked in. I already knew what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. Uh, I am at least trying to get the best out of it. So I ask you, I say, I see that, that uh, you look worried. You, you appear to, to me to be as, as worried. I'm really know exactly who I am dealing with. I'm not asking because she would appear to me as worried. In Slovenian language, we say podmuklo. Uh, they used to compare dogs to that type of character. Podmuklo means, you know, a dog that that is not trustful, a doggy that even appears, you know, to like you, and then at a certain moment he just snaps and grabs you. Or, let's say, you're talking to someone, dog comes, and uh, he goes around back and forth and becomes comes around your back and just grabs you. For your feet whatever it, it used to be a long time ago like this because people have dogs outside in the cold weather and stuff like this it was not animals fault or they mistreated them or something like that it's not like this anymore in slovenia thanks god um but it's a type of character i can refer to uh she says when i ask her you look like you're you're worried you look like you're worried i just want her to come out and, you know, in, in all her glory about whatever she's going to say. Um, my mother worried. My mother is worried. My mother is worried because I keep normal. That's why she's worried. My mother would give anything possible to provoke incident. She's doing this for the niece of mine. She's doing this for my niece. She's doing this for her husband who would instruct me on a bridge not too far from here on how to commit a suicide, on how to just end it all in my best interest to make sure that I wouldn't even cripple and live crippled for the rest of my life. She's not doing this because she wants to do this for her alone or something like this. She's doing this for some other people, for somebody else. She's doing this kind of stuff. She is not worried. My mother could go, my mother would sip me a poison that would make me fall down and die right there and right then, knowing that she's going to go to the hospital. Was, uh, excuse me, to a jail afterwards. She would have done it. She is not worried, even a little bit. And when I asked her, I said, Mom, you look like worried. What's going on? Are you worried? She says, very. She says, very worried. And I pretend to be like a boy from a long time ago. And I ask her, Tell me, tell me what's going on. Like this, I ask her. 
She says, you will know tomorrow. You will know tomorrow. Uh, I said, you're going to tell me tomorrow, I say. And why don't you tell me today what worries you so much? Because, you know, she said she's worried, very worried. She is making uh, facial expressions uh, ridiculing, basically, and will not answer, pretends, acts in the most stupid way possible. Undermining, that's called undermining. And so I told her, you know, I don't need to know anything about tomorrow either. I tell her like this. You remember when I told you about Buckingham Palace, about the psychology, how the psychiatrists, how they teach psychiatrists on how to push insecurity, uh, build insecurity parallel to depression and all that stuff. Um, I'm very well aware of it. So I told her, I told her, you know, it was a beautiful day. I have a headache, but at this point my head is about to explode. But still, I'm not going to allow you to go and fuck with me psychologically in this sense. So I tell her, no, no, I tell her, I don't need to know anything about tomorrow. Keep it to yourself, I tell her. I tell her I'm not interested tomorrow. Oh, you will. It will. You. Uh, you will be. You will be interested. You will be interested. You will. It will interest you. And she's talking this to me in a, such a sense, like almost like she is crying in that sense. You know, in that sense. I tell her no. No, 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 I tell her. It will not be of my interest. I tell her again, you can't tell me now. You don't need to tell me anything about tomorrow. I don't need to know anything about it. This was on Sunday. And I tell her, I asked you nice. What's going on? What's happening? There was a poison inside in there. And what she's trying to cash. She's acting confused. She's acting like... Yeah, what she's doing? She's trying to confuse me with behavior. Irate me. Confuse me. Something my father have implemented time and again, time and again, time and again. Thinking I'm actually going to go even sleep. I ask, tell, tell me, what's going on? What troubles you? Tell. You, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. I tell her uh, I just walk away I grab my stuff and I, I walk away uh, no no break for you uh, no chance for you not even a single chance for you to play me down again no fucking way you're gonna play with me I just grab my stuff and I walk away that's all business way that's all I don't argue, I don't do this, I don't do that. I just do my stuff and I walk away. This is a uh, two minute long, I'm gonna play you again.
Uh, this was recorded on Sunday. Uh, the next uh, audio recording is from a Monday. That's therefore a next day. I have to tell you that mother did ask me if I can cut grass. Uh, of course, I told her, of course I can cut grass. Uh, with the pleasure I go and I cut your grass. So I go. Uh, I prepare myself to go and cut grass. Uh, and I said before I'm going to do this, I'm going to eat something. And then I'm going to go and cut the grass. And so I eat. And then I go and I cut the grass. And so when I go downstairs, I have the shoes I always use to cut the grass. I'm not going to go and use one of the pairs of shoes I have just cleaned. Uh, two days earlier, I cleaned about maybe even 10 pairs of shoes. I think I can probably save these shoes that I have. These are old shoes, but I probably can save them. Uh, there's probably a way to restore these shoes because they're still good. And so the shoes I have downstairs reserved for uh, lawn to cut the grass, they are not there anymore. Uh, there might be even two pairs of shoes that I have used to cut the grass. And so I, I'm like the fuck my shoes where are my shoes uh, I asked my mother where where are the shoes I go back and forth up and down and shoes shoes are not gone so the memory keeps kicks in my head about the neighbor police officer Method Yerman is his name one more thing okay the last thing I cite him right now and you wouldn't get upset, it would be old shoes that, that uh, mother would throw away and stuff like this. The other guy got upset. They started to say there was somebody else, you know, that they did this too and they got upset and this and that. On the MK Ultra, I assured them, no, 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 no I'm not. Why, why would I be old shoes? What, what, what would I be afraid of? We, we're just asking because the other guy was and this and that. If you would get upset and this and that, I remember a psychiatry coming for you. Psychiatry coming for you. They had a psychiatrist cops also involved in this. So I figured out that I'm gonna have to use one of those shoes that I just cleaned. I I said I cleaned about ten pairs of shoes. 
and no, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to use clean shoes to go and cut the lawn, to cut the grass around the house. And mother doesn't say even that she threw the shoes away. So finally she tells me that not saying, listen, I'm sorry, I did throw the shoes away. But rather me going back and forth, back and forth, looking for those shoes so that I can use, uh, comes up to remind me, uh, basically, like, what do you care, you know, for those old shoes and this and that. Yeah, that's exactly, I do care. I have never gone, and for all the damage, for a chopped new shoes that my father had done to me for the stuff that was done to me I didn't go and take the knife and slice his shoes or something like this which they wanted me to I didn't do any of that stuff I never did now why the fuck you go and throw my shoes away why is it that you have to go and give me this kind of answer, actually. It's not even about the shoes anymore. If these are old shoes and you throw away, at least you tell me. You could tell me, listen, I'm sorry, but the shoes were over there and I thought that you're not going to need them, whatever. They, it was whatever, and I threw them away. But it was not like this. It, it was like, what do you care? I asked you to cut the lawn. What do you care about these old shoes and this and that? That was the kind of answer. And so I recalled my niece and her husband who insisted me in my face during MK Ultra about what kind of a fucked up individual that I am, that I accent my I, uh, mine, my I. I actually never did. I never did. A young husband of my niece, Mitya Weber, who got his PhD diploma, uh, believed that uh, I suppose that he's already a psychiatrist or something, psychologist. He appeared to be uh, smarter than myself when I was hijacked from the US and knew better about what I should be, become and see myself as to the degree that he started to abuse me on my I and mine to rather not see whatever is mine and not take credit for whatever I do as I this did pertain as a heavy issue but to my father I would love to say that he mistaken me with my father. My father was extremely heavy all my life. He created the problems which psychiatrists also have acknowledged and didn't know how the fuck they're going to go after me with the attitude he had. God forbid you would touch anything that was his fishing pole car, anything, you would have a serious, serious problems, very, very serious problems, I don't know, maybe I have no idea, he would go completely insane, it would be like you are trying to, I, don't even think about going in my room, fishing, equipment, he dreamed about all the time that, 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 mother and I were stealing him uh, all kinds of stuff and he didn't know where the fuck he was placing his things and would continue to blame me for the stuff he misplaced and it was always mine mine my this my that he displaced something and it's mine it was mine my oh shit I never did this in my lifetime but this people acted jumped on me without having absolutely shit together any kinds of evidence or something 
for my behavior to be as such. And so when I recalled that that kind of stuff is actually done to me, that you go inside of the room and you destroy me the stuff inside of the room, that you go and you chop me new things, I could buy myself a fucking better car than I have right now outside is waiting for me. American psychologist, Benio Rexmith told me you could buy yourself two cars like this with as much as damage as people did to you. And uh, you give me this kind of answer about what do I give a shit about all shoes, this and that. That means that you have a very, very deep disrespect for me. You have a very, very deep, di deep disrespect for me. You just did something. I did not authorize you to do it. And you did not even apologize. And you're asking me to do something. And rather go about what you're asking me to do. Than to even take time and explain me. And even issue apology. Which normally human way this would be as a human way. And you're pushing forward a threat from the local pol police officer here and psychiatrist. Well, that doesn't work like this with me. Because, anyhow, my mother said, No, oh, I don't want you to go. I'm going to cut the grass. Leave it. Leave it. I'll go. And I'll cut the grass. Because the idea here was, after I ate the food, for me to go back in the room and do the stuff and listen to her how she cut the grass and stuff like this, right? But that didn't happen. I take my stuff, I grab my stuff, and I go. I go to Gorianzi, I go to Terdino work one more time that same day. Therefore, the next day. I spent 12 hours more drinking water. Remember when I told you about the day earlier about how they try to psychologically every time put you down next to the problems they cook. Well, this is the way this is. They keep on trigger all the time. Once I returned back from Gorianzi that evening, however, there is a big fucking problem waiting on me. Unfortunately, this problem didn't came to me, and it was just like a milk. I couldn't figure out. I couldn't figure out, for fuck's sake, it didn't come to me. I am going to reveal at the end of this uh, video about bananas what I can tell you in short, in the U.S. I was taught to eat bananas, they're good for the heart, when I was. Uh, a lot of people told me that eating banana has got magnesium inside and stuff, uh, potassium, excuse me, and it's really, really healthy for you, that you should just eat that stuff. And under M.K. Ocho, when he evaluated me about the heart, what, 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 to keep good heart in a good condition, what to eat, I told them, they interrogated to see what I'm gonna, what kind of solutions I'm gonna refuge myself to. And when I mentioned the banana, and then it was American psychologists, they're gonna fuck you, they're gonna do something to you with banana. Don't forget exactly because you like banana. And exactly it's gonna make you sick with a heart. And remember, bananas are good for the heart. So, when that happens to you, you must recall that it's going to be the poison they're going to inject inside. But that didn't make any kind of effect because I was only told this kind of stuff a few times. Indirectly even. They didn't brag about this stuff. Maybe I was told this maybe two, three times, maybe something like this. And then they would refer to poisoning of bananas indirectly. They would not go and tell about it's going to be poison injected inside of the banana. They clustered the issue into a rotten banana. Parts must be uh, removed prior to consumption. The beginning and the end of the banana. The banana they have issued, the rotten banana, a rotten banana, banana that is like, not rotten, but, you know, that it's like soft already in certain parts. 
They re related one to the cancer patients. So it was all in that big fog about uh, about cancer, that kind of shit related. And because I came from Goryansk in a, such a good shape. Absolutely no pain, no trace of pain of, with the heart or anything like this already for like two, heart, two months already I was doing okay with the heart, somewhat. And I only ate banana on what I went to sleep. My God, within one hour or something like this, the sound exploded in my sleep. And uh, somewhere in the middle of the night, I started to feel like really, really pain in my chest, heart area. And in the morning, this shit was so bad that I didn't even feel I want to get up and go about. I thought like I want to just fucking stay there and die. Two days walking around, 24 hours within two days, consuming I don't know how much water. All that work for fucking shit, man. <laughs> for a cardiac arrest. That's your pay. <coughs> That's a shitty pay. That's a shitty investment. That's actually worse than if I would go and do whatever I would do. So when you don't do anything, they semi let you go about. B. And when you try to improve your life in any form. They rat poison you even. That sucks. Here is the audio. In short. I'm going to play to you. My mother claims. That. A tea. She left. On a stove. On a rink. Uh, she left one. Just. Uh, ten minutes ago. And she told me she's going to do this. When I confront her about one, she told me under MK Otros is going to do this because there is nothing else she'll be capable to do. And so the only thing that she'll be capable to do is exactly what I stated here. That she's going to leave this on a stove like a candle is going to be warming itself well but this was already at 7 20 in the morning or something like this my father doesn't have a habit to go about 7 in the morning and when i confront her about this issue it wasn't a 10 minutes ago that she claimed from the video recording here that you see right there it clearly appears that it did happen already almost 30 minutes ago when I stopped that, when I got up and I went to prepare myself a coffee. It was, it appeared clearly it was 30 minutes ago since this tea was still warming itself on a rink, on a stove. So this, what you see right there, this equals clearly to 30 minutes, right? So I'm going to cut in between. I'm just going to play you this portion of it. Anything else inside in there, or at least was. Milk was delivered, but I don't know. So what I do is I ask her, knowing what she was trying to do if she did cut the grass last night so, and she is like i did uh i'm gonna do this again I told her, you know, I feel so sorry for you when she says that she did. Um, 
because of the attitude, the way she gave me yesterday, uh, it was like she would not allow me to even touch and do the lawn despite, because I did go upstairs and I took one of the clean shoes and I was going to go and cut the grass. Yes. I told her, you know, I, I, I really pity you, you know. Congratulations, congratulations. Pakati just. Uh, I did so because she was thinking that because I was eating over there that I'm going to be discomfort and discomfort that I'm going to be uh, and that she's going to play me down in some way. Usually, if something like this would take place and it did, I would be regarded as a piece of shit, gnoi, lazy, good for nothing, this and that. And I miss that attitude. I want to get some of that life out of her. To be honest about this. There was a tea on the stove heating itself and I turned it off the gas. Uh, it was about an hour ago, I tell her. It was good what I did earlier. That's what I wanted. Now you were able to hear. Where were you one hour ago? It was a 10 minute. Uh, where were you one hour ago? 10 minutes? No, that was real. Ah, that's my mommy. Uh, yes, because I did go just down toward the um, bank, uh, toward the bank of the river, and I returned. Now, that is the way it is. Now, basically, I'm lying. I tell her, I'm going to look at the watch. I tell her, now, look, you see, how my, uh, you see the time? Because why? Because when she walked inside of the kitchen, I had one phone, I did film something, but she didn't know I had another one that was turned on too, that voice recorded exactly what you see right there in front of you. So I'm demonstrating her that other phone demonstrating her recording as you see right here minutes everything so she can see in her face how long ago was it when or i say since she was not in the kitchen it's demonstrating clearly 30 minutes Lay. 28 minutes right now <laughs> She is like, no, no, it's not true. Nobody's going to convince me. <clears throat> How the hell am I not going to convince you if I sit in the kitchen and I eat? You don't have the proof that you actually entered inside of the kitchen. With this 30 minutes at least that I recorded, you were noted inside of the kitchen. So it was not a 10 minutes ago. But... This was intended because my mother told me that was the last thing I'm going to be capable to do for you. According to her, that was a favor for, for me from her. The 10 minutes ago and a slightly burning gas on a ring on a stove to, uh, to, to prepare the tea for the father so when he gets up so he gets the warm tea. Why? Okay, why this was assistance? Um, well, that is something you're gonna see. Why? 
uh, right there you can see it's five minutes to eight o'clock that's a video you're gonna see uh, and eventually it becomes clear that father gets up I don't know when he got up maybe at 12 o'clock maybe it's 11 three hours later so it actually wouldn't even make a whole lot of what is it or is it two hours later because well there you go so 10 51 now that's 11 o'clock father gets up and you can see right there three hours later my father actually gets up so that heating of the tea that she was preparing was really intended for something else it was another provocation it meant to be my candle for me the sign basically that i was in fact poisoned so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to give you a detailed explanation about how and exactly what happened how they want it uh, the first part that you have seen about the yahoo about the queen elizabeth's involvement in all this the only thing i would add to this stuff is that prince william told me you're gonna there's gonna be a two kinds of poisons one poison is gonna one poison is gonna accompany you all the time is gonna be to sepsis blood poisoning cancer related issues and then it's gonna be that other poison that's like a real poisoning and you have to act differently in both if to improve the blood due to uh, sepsis blood like poisoning that you go walk you exercise if you have a pain in heart but if you have a pain in heart because of like real poisoning and stuff that's when you have to stay in bed and wait till your medical condition improves for the first part the yahoo uh the only thing i can say is psychiatrist peter kops insisted me that if you would go and do the yahoo part it will be a psychiatry 100 percent and then he walked back and forth and said or maybe not or maybe not uh if it will depend on you how you gonna basically view me that's how they wanted to uh, basically take initiative and uh fuck me out like this and teach me after all this crime that in fact it's all thanks to them on how and this and that but this is how every crime that you receive compensation for ends right for every crime that you perform and you get paid you have to convince the victim the injured one that it was in his best interest to accept assistance from the criminals that did crime to you that's how psychiatrist peter kopsch have interpreted it. and my mother and my father and everybody they will be rushing on your side uh, but you're not gonna accept them and that kinds of stuff the last thing the last thing that a physician his name is kukovets matyash when I did go for a second medical examination in March the 24th of 2022, that is exactly one month ago, stated me under MK Ultra will do for me. You see, so the people are doing all kinds of favors for me, you know. And then you have somebody like a Joe, uh, Joe Biden, and other politicians that will not interfere, that uh, they, they, they help they help me uh there's only one mother there is only one father uh they're giving me a time to understand 
they they are just doing all this stuff of course for me and a poisoning and all that shit this is just a necessary part of it so they can save me uh, this gentleman here told me the last thing I'm going to be capable to do for you he said and that's exactly what he did will be a send send you analysis of your urine which are going to be greatly 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 delayed that's what he stated me uh, under MK Ultra. Uh, the examination was on March the 24th, 2022. I am just repeating his words. Please don't grab me. Uh, exactly might be a procedure, but I have received this letter yesterday at 5 o'clock. The letter was not even included in other mail, uh, but was actually placed atop of the, uh, there was a, I have actually video recorded, I'm going to demonstrate you right now, it was, it was a jar, it was this, uh, it was cookies, hearts, and next to that it was an envelope with this thing. And that's what I open it right there and right then. Uh, interesting enough, it was signed on April the 18th of 2022. That stuff can be seen. And I am not saying, I'm not even saying that uh, this is not a regular procedure from the General Hospital Novel Master. I'm just saying that this individual is a hardcore criminal. He's a physician, but he's a criminal. And he didn't do this shit for me. If he did this stuff for me, like, so that this would not be like official procedure of the hospital, that would be, that would take one month to deliver this to a patient, to somebody, uh, analysis, results of analysis, urine analysis if he did this to raise the suspicion about the stuff against me uh, he would have done this stuff to cover his ass which I know will not and the second thing which most likely is the issue it's probably is that this type of uh, analysis just take hospital just that long he's just you know it was just his way to contribute more to the lies in which he is deeply in in twisted this is just a physician like this that's all there is to it his name kukovic matiash like signed right here yeah so you're gonna see the video where i actually demonstrate this letter excuse me i think it was the day before yesterday actually that oh it doesn't matter because the camera has a date and time and on this examination report it says there was no problem everything perfect no in the urine there's absolutely nothing was wrong with the urine it says microbiology euro quick negative here you want to see this stuff everything no problem everything the way it should be yeah so that's all